Glad to have you join us again. It's now time for us to talk about trading activities at the Nigerian Exchange yesterday. Ambrose Amodio is with me in the studio, but before we get to him, let's tell you that on Thursday, the Nigerian equities market experienced a marginal increase of 0.05%. This upward movement in the market led to a positive year-to-date return of 30.9%. Additionally, the Shell Index and equities capitalization both rebounded from their previous days' lows climbing from 67,149 in this point and uh, 36.864 trillion naira to 67,133.19 in this point and 36.82 trillion naira respectively. However, the market remained in positive territory primarily due to the increased value of banking stocks such as Zenith Bank Assets Holdings and First Bank Holdings which saw their share prices rise by 1.27%, 0.32% and 0.62% respectively. Joining me in our live virtual, no, not virtually nice with me in the studio, <laughs> to do more analysis of these is Ambrose Omodio, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consultant Limited. Ambrose, good morning. It's a pleasure having you join me in the studio. Thanks for having me again. Bless you. Let's see what played out in the market yesterday. What are the fundamentals that fuel these um, 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 figures that um, we are getting from the exchange? You know, remember on Monday at the beginning of the week, I yes. told you expect to see a mistrend. Miss market, and yes. also be seeing that uh, up and down you know, movement to show you that investors are waiting for you know, a positive catalyst to trigger mm. either an uptrend or a pullback. Mm. And with any of them, it's good for the investors. But when market pull back, you buy a cheaper price, mm. to expect the market will not remain in that state of, you no, know, it has to rebound. If you go up again, you are smart because you're already in the market. You know, these are the people that anywhere you are, the market is going up. You don't need to panic or rather invest with the uh, information mm. and also invest with uh, enough uh, research. But the good thing is that uh, as, you know, we're coming closer to the earnings season. Yes. And also, you know, we need to also look forward to the macroeconomic data in terms of inflation figure for the month of uh, September. Yes. These are shaping investors' uh, decision. Why? Because if, you know, by advantage we have seen that our inflation has been in uptrend, yes. and we have not seen anything that change that will tell us that it's going to slow down. Mm -hmm. For that, mm -hmm. investors are probably factoring that, yes, if we are seeing a, a decline in Treasury B, you know that in Treasury B is like a major, you know, instrument, uh, instrument used for that money market, uh, you know, tools, or we we'll call it them, uh, you know, instrument too. But at the same time, now that it's declining for two consecutive time, the previous uh, offer uh, and this last offer, it shows that inflation coming it will throw a lot of these instruments in red position. Gradually, you can see that yesterday we saw more buying threat in the banking stock yesterday. Yes, yes, Tell you that yes. people already reading, you know, where you know, are we going? Mm. And also, November is around the corner here. Yes. And we expect that, the, you know, the first MPC meeting with this new, you know, CBN government, they're not Please. likely to adjust rate or to leave you also, you know, a flat to watch because we have seen an assumption that this, uh, you know, September, the who was also a who. That's likely to ha happen again because why? If you look at what happened yesterday, if they are listing up 43 you know, items, yes. for, it tells you that yeah. they are reading something. Yeah, because reacts. I was going to ask you, as the market reacting to that, if yeah. there's any fundamental change to read. Yeah, there will be. Yeah, there will be. The market just open this morning. Okay. You no, know, we're just looking at if they are going that direction. Says so that they are also consulting to make sure that they manage this uh, effort that I really put most of the industrial aspect of Nigeria, you know, mm. in a very, very bad mess. Nice corner, yes. You know, in a bad mess. For that, I believe that we be able to address this uh, first issue. And if you look at our history for 40 years, I will not have been devalued and coming down. But if they are coming with a, a, a kind of a, a mechanism that will to sustain this evaluation, and at the same time, FS are valuable mm. because the backlog we are, we, are, we are having is rich, mm. about ten billion dollars. If we were to sort that one, clean that one off, and what is the inflow? And also, the operators in that industry also come in terms with that's why they are doing consultation through that this holding and all those stuff. Why they remove the 46, uh, 44? It was I thought, okay, let's lift it up. If there's because of uh, the demand for it, let's see how it's going to be for the whole market. Let's do but I believe that before they do that, they also push. Uh, liquidity to the FS market before me that but now that would be another pressure but I want to see how they're going to play but as I said for you to adjust any policy or pronounce you need to do your own homework a yes. lot because we know what happened when uh, the governor uh, when the president you know removed the first overnight what happened and also even when the matter was of, was float yes. we saw what happened I believe that preparation is very key Gee, yeah. but I believe that investors are looking forward to what key major thing inflation data and what and Q3 numbers that will shape the market and also like I said earlier that this last quarter is the most active quarter anywhere in the world. Mm. We expect to see. That's why what is happening in Middle East was activities improving this period. 
Okay, so a lot of activities is good, has been played out in the um, NGS. We've seen that um, some institutional investors from the U.S. actually played those to the um, to the Nigerian exchange. We're going to talk about that in depthly um, during the analyst yeah, hangout. No but, but what would you say is is making these people? What are they actually seeing in the Nigerian capital market at this point in time? No, actually, if you look at our naira, you see that our stock is cheap. Yes. We've got an exchange rate today. Okay. You know, I know that in the official market, we're around 800 or 700 within that. But in the black market, above 1,000 naira, mm. that tell you, if you bring 1,000, 1, um, let's say $1 million to Nigeria market alone, mm. $1 million, four people bring it in different way, going to move the market because mm. our value has dropped. And for that, it becomes cheaper for them. But another thing is that they, too, they are not fools. Mm. They are watching your market data. Exactly. They, they are not investors that you want to catch you. Mm. They don't come to show and look at you. You don't think that they are coming tomorrow morning. They want to see what is your plan mm. and where we are going. Because if you want to benchmark or kind of assess any government or any company, mm. as you are running out their plans, you not take their word to their plan. Are they playing the words with their plan mm. or they are really playing on that word? Well, that's why we need a roadmap from the government and from the CBN. So that this foreign investor will not say, okay, oh, for the last uh, three months, we can see there are no progress because they implement what they put on ground. This is what we need. That will, because I said, once you give us a roadmap, you know, we are just talking story. All right. Ambrose, we need to go now. So much to talk about. And we need to let our viewers know that analysts and out is back today. Yes. 4 30 p.m. is the time. You can also inform your investors as well no, 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 so no, they can no, catch no, us no, with no, us. No, no, but no finally, problem. what's the market going to look like today as we wrap up for the week? Because we saw you know, an extension of the previous day gain. Mm. Today, because most of the banking stocks are cheap and also some you know, what we call it, consumer goods stock that are planning merger and acquisition. Okay. You no, know, those stock moving up today might sustain the uptrend. But All ideally, right. market is looking for next week where we've seen the market data and company uh, performance. This is what we just shape the market. And also we expect the monetary policy and fiscal policy to give us a clue. All right, we'll leave it at that. So much to talk about, but we should focus no, no to analyst anger. No Ambrose Omodion, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited, is with me here and he has given us some in-depth analysis of what played out at the NGS yesterday and what we should expect from the market today. Ambrose, as always, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. Okay now, let's get talking now. But before then, let's tell you, coming up next on the show, as the efforts to improve Nigerians knowing all export intensifies, the African continent of free trade area that's after has underscored the potential for an internal trade to exceed 70 billion dollars surpassing the level of development assistance also the nigerian fashion industry has been estimated to be worth over two billion dollars and is expected to grow um, to grow despite macroeconomic headwinds facing the country's operating environment going by the rise in the number of fashion designers models fashion houses and fashion events and finally, crude oil prices in the international market were up today after the U.S. tightened its sanctions program against Russian crude exports, raising supply concerns in an already tight market and global investors are focused to decline through the fourth quarter. We have details of this and more after this timeout. Please stay with us. <laughs>